how would you like to start off your next match serving in the absolute zone to where you've got the right amount of spin, power, your placement's on, you're holding serve easy. If that sounds good to you, watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to give you the perfect, I mean the perfect 10 minute serve warm up. So what I'd like you to do is if you have a chance, sometimes you'll be able to play a match where you'll be able to warm up your serve before you actually go out there and do your actual warm up with your opponent. So you can kind of get your body right, you can get the feeling of the ball. You can also implement the serve practice if you didn't get a chance to warm up before and just use this when you're playing against your partner, but you're probably not gonna have 10 full minutes to practice your serve, that makes sense. So you'll just do a short version of this. So what I want you to do is when you start out serving, I also just want you to focus on a couple of things. Number one, the tossing arm. I want you to really focus on stretching the tossing arm. And what you can do, it, it might take you a couple serves, is take a look at the baseline. You'll notice that a lot of recreational players, when they toss, their toss is on this side. It's crossing over the line, and that's their full reach, and they're hitting serves, right? And then you're going in and, and hitting your serve. If you watch the pros, so many pros when they go to serve, their arm is actually coming where? Actually, it passes the baseline. I'm letting go of the ball early, right around here, but then I continue up. So I want you to focus on that and pretend that your wrist and your hip, they're like connected on a string, like a marionette. So they, they pull each other into that. So that's one thing I want you to work on. The other thing I want you to work on is being super loose. So the first thing you're gonna do is when you go to serve, a lot of people serve too big, they're jumping around, it's hard to establish their balance, their body's not really ready for that. So this is gonna help you really get your toss under control and, and also your balance. So all I can do here is move the back toe. This is the first thing I'm gonna do when I go to warm up my serve and I'm not trying to hit the ball hard at all. I don't care if the ball goes in or out really, but I'm just trying to establish a good feel. We'll move the camera to the back so you can kind of see the rest of this progression. Okay, so when you're hitting these serves, I really want you to be very tough on yourself and patient with this. And all you can move is the back toe. Like really, I'm saying that's it. And you turn this hip in there to hit the ball. And when you do this, like this, again, the toss is gonna be right where you want it to be. If the toss is not in the right spot, you're gonna be stumbling and straining to hit it and you're gonna be losing your balance. So by doing this, the toss is one of the toughest things to master. If you do this all the time when you go do your perfect serve 10 minute warm up, you're all of a sudden gonna be developing a very reliable toss. You're gonna know right where that ball is. And you wanna do this till you start to feel the balance, till you feel like your serve is money, right? You just go, okay, this is money. This is getting really easy to hit. I feel like I'm starting to feel the ball spin off the rack. You can see those all have a very similar feel. I like that. So once I start to feel that I've got that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I like to call the baseball pitcher finish. So if you watch a baseball pitcher, when they come here, they throw towards the plate and then they bring the back leg around like that. So that's what I want to do. I want to get here and I want to finish with that balance coming in and hitting and really nailing that finish. That's the next thing I'm doing. I really want to establish that rhythm and that balance. And when you do this, this feels like a nice natural progression. Feels like a nice natural progression from one move to the next move. So that's what you want to do. So as you go and get ready to jump into a serve eventually, if you end up jumping, that nothing feels hard. And you also notice right now, I'm not really hitting to serve that hard. I'm just going nice and easy, want to feel the, the strings catching the ball, want to feel this tossing arm getting way up there. Those are the two main things that I'm focused on. All right, let's get into the next move. Okay, so now your serve's feeling pretty good. Before you go into something I call the lazy jump, right here with that baseball pitcher finish, I do want you to start accelerating just a little more so you can start to feel 
a little more of the snap timing, okay? So this is what we're gonna do before you go into our next move. I'm coming here and notice I'm just snapping a little faster as I'm coming into that finish there. One more time. Boom. All right, so we got a good rhythm. Now we're gonna go into something called the lazy jump. And this is pretty interesting. When I do the lazy jump, you're gonna notice that it doesn't even look like I'm trying that much more, and I'm really not. It's, it's a kind of a cool thing that Rick Macy says, you know, try not to try. It's a very relaxing move. And it's okay to foot fall a little bit. We've got a second camera now, so you can maybe catch this. And I actually know Sveter does this too. So a lot of pros I've noticed do the same thing when they want to start to add some physicality into their serve, but their body's not quite revved up yet. They'll do what I like to call a lazy jump. So I like to kind of step into it and then lazily jump in. And, and you see that that serve was much bigger than anything I've hit and I didn't even really try. So I'm just coming here and Whoops, not a good toss. Remember, I want to get that toss to where I can really feel that arm pass the line. So I want to feel that, and that feels pretty good. And now we're hitting bigger serves. We're starting to get more into match mode. And you want to do this lazy jump until you feel like you're ready to go into a ritual. So I, I, I'm not quite ready yet, so I'm just going to do a couple more. Okay, it starts feeling pretty good today. Do one more. Okay, so feeling pretty good. Now what I want to do is now I want to start to go into my match ritual and a full jump. If you can jump. Now if you can't do a jump, you could just stay on the ground. Okay, but now I want you to start to get into however many ball, ball bounces you do, whatever your ritual is. Now you want to go into this and you also want to kind of think about your favorite spin. So my favorite spin is a slice serve. So I'm going to get a little bit into match mode and work on my slice serve down the middle. So now you see I'm getting bounces. I like to do four bounces. Come here, come down, up. I like to step up into it and hit. Okay, pretty good. That was a little bit of slice and kind of flats. So this one I'm going to try and hit with a little more slice. Cut it a little more. And I really like the way that one felt as well. So I always like to start with my strength first, which is my slice serve. So for you it might be a kick serve, it might be a flat serve. But I like to warm up that strength first because when the match starts, I want to know that my most reliable serve is ready to go and it, and it feels good and there's a high percentage I'm going to be making that serve. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my flat serve out wide. This is where now I'm going to work more on power. So now you're going to see the ball go a lot harder. I might miss a lot more though. So now I'm kind of like letting it out and going up to fifth gear also taking more risk. This would be a serve that I'm going to hit less in a match, but on big points, maybe if I'm feeling it, I might go for an ace with this serve. So you might see some more misses in the net or long because it's a lot more physical, a lot more risky. So I want it, but I do want to practice this before I play. Okay, pretty good. We made that, but the placement wasn't great. I like to have this one go off the court in the corner and off the court if I can. Ah, so you drop my head. Like I said, don't be surprised if I miss more on this one. Oh, that one felt really good. I might have missed that by a hair, but you can see I was a huge serve. High bounce off the fence. If it did land in, it's an ace. So that, that feels pretty good. Now, what I like to do is I like to start worrying up my kick serve next. As a lefty, the kick serve is going to be lowest priority for me because I don't really need to use it that much. I like to serve mostly at backhands, okay, which is my slice serve. So the kick serve for me is the last serve I practice. 
I'll use it the least amount. I might use it 10 times in a match. Um, it's more physical, so I kind of slow everything back down again, and I start actually working. If you want to have a good kick serve, practice like, thinking of your kick serve like a topspin lob, okay? You want height over the net, and that's how I start to warm up. I want to start to get some height on the ball. That was a good one right there. And notice how I'm not jumping anymore. So when I go into my kick serve, I definitely suggest this for people who are over the age of 40. You might want to do this too, kind of slow everything down again, because you do have to have a little bit of an arch, arching of the back, it's a little physical. You expand that chest muscle. You're tossing a little more over your head. So it's a little more of a physical challenge. So I like to do this as I wore up the kick serve. That was a pretty good one. So now it's getting there and then I like to go into lazy jump with a kick serve. I like to go into lazy jump. Whoops, that's not even a really lazy jump, is it? So lazy jump is the step behind the head and kick. Pretty good. Like that one a lot. Felt good. Not so conservative, it goes in or out. Lazy jump. Feels pretty good. Couple more. I'm liking the action off the ball. Again, I'm not so concerned if it's in or out. Okay, now, that's feeling good. Now I'm gonna go into a match mode kick serve because my body feels like it's ready. So now I'm gonna go into my ritual. And I'm gonna hit that kick serve. Not bad, not bad. So you see, that's how I like to warm up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same exact exercise on the ad side if I have time. So I'm gonna go right back into just establishing my balance with a couple of lazy jumps because I already got my body warmed up, but I'm just gonna do a couple of lazy jumps here on this side, feel it, and then start to go into match mode where I'm bouncing the ball. The last thing I want you to do, now you're warmed up. You feel your body going. What I want you to do, we'll just, we'll just play a game to one. We'll do some real pressure here. I'm gonna serve the ball down the middle slice. If I make it, then I win. I don't have to do anything. If I miss it, what I gotta do for you guys to end the video is I'll do 10 push-ups. So what I wanna do is get my serve warmed up enough and then practice some pressure. So it'd be really cool if you have the time is maybe play yourself to five or 10 points and go after the serve that you're like, this is my money serve. This is a serve that on a big point, it's the one I know I'm gonna make, okay? You don't always make the one that's your money serve, but you want to have a really good feeling that you're gonna make it most of the time. So know what that is and if you don't have that right now, start to establish it, start to decide like, hmm, I think I can make this serve. Okay, when I warm up my serve, I'm always gonna kinda end with this to see if I can make it. So now I'm gonna go down the, down the middle, slice serve, I make it, I win, I miss it, I lose, I'll do 10 push-ups if I miss it. This is a great way to practice pressure, okay? Not enough people understand how to practice pressure, especially by themselves. So here we go, let's see how I do. Okay, I made the serve, but guess what? I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. Cause for me, that was like a pitcher missing the target. It was supposed to be a down the middle slice. It went in the box, but it was like clearly not down the middle. So you know what? That's 10 push-ups for the coach to end the video. If you wanna improve your serve, here we go. You want to get serving A to Z. You go up in the card section in the corner and you click on that and you will get a free serve course. We're not just talking one video, two videos. We're talking 33 free videos. And if you like this video, if you like seeing your coach online going down, doing push-ups for you, then smash up the like button, subscribe so you don't miss the next video.
go practice this 10 minute, perfect 10 minute warm up. Although I think I went longer than 10 minutes because I just got so excited about serving, it's so fun. You can't serve enough. You can't, it's the most important shot in the game. All right guys, we'll see you on the next video.